think this is going to be a good day. I've, I'm three streets down from where I live and I already found a garage sale. So yeah, Saturday morning going out garage sailing and already hitting some good stuff. So let's go, uh, let's go do some shopping. chair desk thing. I like that a lot. I think that'd be cool in the in like the study area. Let's see if I get a price on it. <laughs> so very first um, stop of the day ends up being really good. So I got this whole box of pumpkins and they have holes in the bottom and they even have the string of lights that they ran through them. Some buckets, some teddy bears, uh, two bucks. I got this water globe for three bucks. Um, this was a dollar. It's a pretty cool book. It's, it's like it's like three dimensional if you can see. It's very cool. And then I got that for ten. Okay, so sorry about that interruption, but the guy just came out to me and he found these flame lights. He had two flame lights. He gave them to me for a buck. One dollar for both of them. So sixteen dollars. I got two flame lights. This awesome writing desk chair thingy, and a whole box of crap. So, not a bad first stop of the day, guys. So I just talked to the guy that was uh, doing the garage sale and it looks like he's divorcing and <laughs> that's why he's getting rid of all this stuff. They're selling the house, they're selling everything. So um, sucks for that guy, but big time score for me. Um, I couldn't be happier. I was you know, ready to go in there and pay like 25 bucks for that, that cool antique um, chair desk thing, but uh, 15 bucks for everything, dude. I was kind of surprised when he was like, yeah, you know, whatever, just give me two bucks for that whole box. and whatever and, and so and then when he came up right there you guys saw him walk up to me as I was you know about to pack the car and I was vlogging I kind of stopped abruptly because he walks up with those two flame lights and he's like here if you want these I'll give them to you for a dollar I'm like for both he's like yeah I don't care like, sweet so um, if the first stop of the day is a sign for the day then today's gonna be a very very good day garage selling so let's go see what else we can find so I'm driving around and I saw a garage sale sign and then it just stopped so I'm hoping it wasn't a sign from like last week, but anyways, for those of you that haven't like, don't know where Castro Valley is, Castro Valley is a little town out in the San Francisco Bay Area up in the hills, and all the streets are like this. I mean, it's just like, it's an unincorporated town. We don't have police, we don't have City Hall, it's just a little town, and it's very cool though. I mean, all the streets are like this, lots of trees, beautiful hills, um, just a very cool town. So, I don't know, thought I'd show you guys how pretty it is on a day like today. Okay, so I found that garage sale, it was just hidden. Um, the signs were not marked clearly, they were, uh, you know, cardboard with Sharpie on it. Fine tip Sharpie, it's like, you can't read them, you're just kind of guessing. So people tip, if you're having a garage sale, make your shit big and bright. So people can know where they're supposed to be going. Um, anyways, that garage sale just had a lot of clothes, uh, nothing cool. Now. Let me know this. Do you guys get garage sales where you're at that have baseball trophies, like old kids' baseball trophies? I just don't, I don't understand that. I don't know why you would want to buy some kid's old baseball trophy with his name on it. What would you do with that kind of stuff? I don't know. Um, I just think it's weird, so I wouldn't buy that kind of stuff personally, but I don't know. What do you guys, uh, you guys get that, like where you're at? Do you guys get old trophies and stuff and do you guys buy them and if you buy them what the hell do you use them for let me know so in just speaking of that this is exactly how you should post your garage sale easy to find so no look there although it was pretty coolly laid out I guess it was some kind of fundraiser for like women's retreat so that's a it's a very good cause um, I did get this it's just a backpack for Brooklyn for a quarter um, you know you know me always thinking of Brooklyn so um, I'm actually right around the corner from somewhere that I want to show you guys, so let's go let's go peek around the corner and take a look. Okay, so I'm two streets up, and I'm turning onto Waters Drive, W-A-T-T-E-R-S. So if you want to Google Earth this place, this is kind of one of those Boo Radley houses that every town has. This is our Boo Radley house. This is a house that I've been looking at and scared of since I was a kid, and I've always wanted to own it. I've never seen anybody come in or out of it. Um, it's super duper cool, um, but I, 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 I suggest Google Earth it. It's pretty cool looking. So look at this thing. So it is all wood. It's all beat up. 
um, cool little barn style uh, garage over there. But I mean, isn't this thing just awesome? Wouldn't this make the perfect home haunt? Um, there's tons of space in the front. You got openings around the back and the side. Um, tons of parking, you got a driveway. And this thing is just awesome as can be. So if it ever comes up for sale, <laughs> I am going to be the first one trying to buy that thing, so I will be making offers. Um, it's just super cool. Now, you see the porch, the porch is awesome, and if you look through that window, there's a spiral staircase that goes up to like the attic or something. I mean, this thing is just super duper awesome. I said super a lot, I turned it into Steve Yard 105 right there, but I get all giddy when I see this house, you know, and the thought about possibly owning it someday if it ever comes up for sale. So. Um, Google Earth it. It's on Waters Drive, uh, W-A-T-T-E-R-S, and that's in Castro Valley, but, um, yeah, I love this thing. So, I just thought I would share my, uh, you know, my town's Boo Radley house with you guys. You know, someday you can see old man Barrios, you know, scaring away the kids with his haunted house there. <laughs> Something like that, but, yeah, so, say bye to the scary house. Bye, scary house. Okay, so I'm home now from garage sailing. Didn't have much luck after that first spot. Um, but check it out. Look at this. I want to show you the book that I got. So it's called Spine Chillers Mysteries. Um, extremely cool cover. It's glossy finish. And there's three mystery books in here. It's Dr. Shivers Carnival, Attack of the Killer House, and Birthday Cake and Ice Cream. Um, very cool book. I've never seen it anywhere, but it's totally totally cool so I can't wait to read this and check out all the stories in there um, and then let me show you the um, the pumpkins so this is what they did there's six pumpkins in here and if you see inside there is a light bulb and basically what they did was they cut out the bottom and there's a string of, of light bulbs I gotta get a couple bulbs um, but then they use this as their pathway lights so pretty cool I think I have an idea where I can use them already so I'll probably be getting some bulbs and then using those in the haunt just to light up a, a pathway in the back area. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, haven't tested the flame lights yet or the water glow, but I'm sure they work. But I'm really, really loving this chair. Um, it's super duper cool. So, very antique looking. It looks like a writing desk. I don't know if any of you guys know what it is. Um, it's got a pocket over here to like put books in or whatever. But it's just a very cool desk. Um, like I said, excuse the messy garage. We're getting ready for a uh, um, our own garage sale next week. Next week we're having a uh, community-wide garage sale, so that's why all the crap is out, and I'm just going to get rid of it all so I can store more haunted house stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm not going to build anything today. I got a couple things I got to do. I have to go to my grandmother's house, so I will show you guys that. It's pretty cool. It's going to be like American picker style when I go there. So, um, so. After I go to a festival, I'm going to show you something at the festival that my friend built. Really cool for this um, church festival that's going on today. So actually, I'm going to head over there now, and i got to show you guys what they built. It's, you guys are going to love this. So we are at the church festival, and this is my friend Dana. And this is her booth. She's selling jewelry. And her and her husband made this awesome open window hearse to uh, display all the jewelry in. So isn't that badass? And good news is they're going to let me use it during oh Halloween. God. They're gonna bring it up to my house and I'll be able to use it in the haunt. So pretty freaking badass. And I'm gonna show you guys how they did it. Um, let's go take a close look. So let's start here with the, the seat. So they got just like a shelf rack right here. You can see the shelf rack. And that is what's holding up here. A couple of side supports. Um, I don't, they're just screwed in I guess. Got a little V bracket here holding up the bottom part for the feet. Uh, the wheels are through a PVC pipe. So, and you can see this is a table. So, one of those plastic tables from Costco or you know Walmart or whatever. So, these are just zip tied on. Um, so, the whole frame is made out of a table base. Uh, legs are zip tied on with PVC and then screwed on here. Um, Holds it in, so it holds it on. The wheels are, you see, they're they're cut here, and there's four pieces that make the wheel. So very cool looking. Very cool detail all over the place. I don't know what this is. This looks, oh, this is all just crown molding, cut to 
Nope. Cut to uh, fit together. Right. Flatwood, there's some uh, flat ladies and gentlemen, wood up here. Like I can't see it, but you guys probably can't come over by the main stage. These are just, just um, yeah. railing from yeah. Home Depot that are screwed in, filled nice and clean so there's no screw marks. Everything's clean and painted. And same thing here. Detail. All the Here's the interior part. So it looks like just some, uh, some more molding around the perimeter. Hi, Corey. Hi, Dana. This thing is amazing. I can't wait to have it at my house. <laughs> so very cool stuff. Very good work on it. What's up, Chica? So yeah, let me show you the back side. Isn't that very cool? So yeah, I just figured you guys would like to see that. Very cool Hearst. Um, see if I can get you guys any more details on it, but kind of there's the basis of it. It's made out of a table and then just wood all around it. So here's the corner. I didn't see this before, but here's it's like the metal step rail stuff for the stair guard. That's screwed in on there. Everything's just pieced together. It's all wood. So table, there's some wood over the table. Very cool though, huh? So, yeah, I don't know. Very cool stuff. Very cool. So we're at Grandma's house. I think the last time you saw me here was when I got that little um, baby buggy, uh, that cool one. So um, we're going to go check it out so she has an acre and a half of like land so it's like a little mini farm um you know grandma's gotten old so it's not as clean and taken care of as it used to be so but you can see she's got one of those little outbuildings down there and she's got this one and she's got one up there so we're gonna go take a walk up this hill and uh, i want to check out what's in there i haven't seen what's in there for a while so i'm gonna go check it out me and brooklyn and addy we're gonna go check out what's up this hill so we made it up here and there's look at this tons of picture frames and paintings like tons so i actually need three for that dvd that i got go ahead go in brooklyn i need three for that dvd that i bought from west coast and uh yeah so let's see if we can find anything good oh this picture very cool old stuff this picture now grandma's a painter so every painting in my house is actually from grandma so yeah um these are ones that she didn't paint but everything else i have is all the things that she painted but look at this she all did. old stuff look at this cool old table cool. that'd be cool it's a coffee table too i might have to grab that and take that one home hold on b i gotta finish in here oh look at that. here's the view out the window you can see how high up in the hills we are and that's the uh, bay way out there so very cool We'll go to that little building next, and then she has a trailer too. Creepy old trunk. That thing's kind of cool looking, actually. It's not usable, but maybe I could use it. I'm gonna haunt for something. And I can't move it, but it's that is ugly. And it's uh, locked up. But Let's see if I can find the key. Can't even see inside. Look at all those spider webs. That's gonna be scary going in there. Let me go see if I can find the key, and we'll uh, we'll check it out. We'll go Amer, we'll go American picking, and we'll do that kind of stuff. Check it out. Looking around Grandma's house is cool because I'm finding things that I think I could use in the haunt. Like, remember I paid a dollar for a trash can. Well, I could have probably just grabbed this one. And look at this old school. Um, I think it's like a, a tree branch chopper thing. I mean, look at that. Look how long that blade is. And then it goes down and it's all just eaten up and rotted away. There's handles on it. That's so cool looking. And then over there she's got a sink, which is perfect for the kitchen. So I will be taking that. So I need to cross that off my list. I'm just going to take that later. And I'll just build a little frame around it or I could even just put this there. I think this is pretty nasty looking. I think the, that'll fit in there. The sink will fit in that. So, it's just a cool little trailer. I didn't know that, but that's pretty cool looking. So yeah, um, I can't find a key to that little shed down there, so I'll try to get in there next time. Um, but yeah, I don't know, found some cool stuff. I got the picture frames, they're in the car. Um, and I'm gonna grab this old wheel well thing. 
It looks like something off a railroad wheel, but it's really old and just cool and creepy looking. So, look at this thing, it's just old, rotted out. Here's the metal frame part. It looks like it goes on a railroad. So, I don't know, but I mean, that's all that's all steel. It's really heavy, actually, too. This thing is really heavy, but it's pretty cool looking. I don't know what it would have went on, but it's very cool looking. Maybe Grandma will know. Maybe I'll ask her and see. Okay, so I'm finally home for the day. That was kind of a long, long day. Um, started out garage sailing, then went to breakfast, and the farmer's market, then the grandma's house. Um, then I went to my niece's 12th birthday party, and that's where I'm just getting home from. So, um, yeah, so I'll start playing with all this junk that I got today, garage sailing. Um, and here are the three frames that I got. So they're actually brand new, but they're all matching. Um, they're 11 by 17. If I can pull back a little bit. They're 11 by 17, so I think they'll be a good size for, um, you know, the, uh, the room I put them in. I'm going to put them in like the, I think I'm going to put them in the den, um, along with this chair table thing that I got today. Text message. Um, anyways, I think I'm going to put them in the den, so the rooms aren't going to be huge, but they're going to be, you know, big enough to walk through and stuff, so, uh, once I get them, once I project the, um, the haunt DVD, the, the living portraits haunted DVD that I showed you guys a few vlogs ago, it might have been like 10 vlogs ago now, um, but once I project that, figure out the size and everything, then I can put these three down onto um, the wall. So I probably actually won't put those frames up until I get the wall up and I project on and then I get everything, you know, settled where it needs to be. So I'm actually just going to paint the wall behind this um, white. I'll screw these into the wall and I'll paint the wall behind this white so that way I can just project onto the white wall part. So I'm not going to do any kind of material. I'm just going to leave the frame how it is, screw it into the, you know, into the uh, wall panel and go with it that way. So hopefully it works out good. I'll be projecting from above so nobody gets in the way. Um, so I'll just build a little platform up there, waterproof it on top with another sheet of plywood to keep it from getting wet. Um, and just play everything off the DVD there and just loop it, loop it, loop it. So yeah. So, um, anyways, busy day. Um, so, yeah, I, I will, tomorrow I gotta go to work. I got the Dallas Cowboys coming into my hotel, so, um, I gotta be there all day, unfortunately. It's gonna be a long one. They're playing the Raiders on Monday night, so we gotta, you know, do all kinds of stuff for them, so. Um, so no building tomorrow, no fun. Um, but yeah, I'll check back with you guys shortly, alright? So enjoy the rest of your weekend.